I'm feeling there maybe. Okay, so just in here. Pretend that I put my hair on. My hair is an absolute stain. Hey everyone. So today I'm going to be doing a hair video with my favourite hairstyles that I like to do. Now, I've chosen super, super easy ones that you can follow along and hopefully grasp yourself. So my hair is currently, I want to say like, maybe four days old, three days old, something like that. That's why it's like gross, but I always prefer my hair to be greasy, like Sounds gross and I, but it's so much easier to style and I much prefer it. So, let's start off with the hairstyle that you guys have been wanting me to show you how to do for so long. So, let's go! Ooh, ooh. Okay, I'm actually going to die of heat exhaustion. Oh my god. Stay hydrated, kids. So first up, Tangle Teaser. Super cute one, looks like a watermelon. Just gonna brush my hair through. I can't believe I'm actually filming this with greasy hair, but it's so much easier to style. Am I right, ladies? Am I right? So once I've brushed my hair through, I'm then gonna take hairband and I'm gonna put it up into a high pony. If I'm looking here, I've got a mirror so I can actually see what I'm doing. I'm then going to scrape it up with a brush. Just to make sure it's super sleek. Now guys, I bet you can guess what hairstyle I'm doing. Because it's been requested so much. I'm then just going to take my comb and use the thinner end. And just going to further neaten it up now if i have freshly washed hair i will usually hairspray this but i don't think i'm gonna need to today because it's greasy you're gonna then put it through just into a normal ponytail now if you want this hairstyle to stay in literally all day then i'd suggest that you put two hair bands in so I'm just taking another one, just popping it in. See, how much better does that look guys without flyaways and stuff? Like greasy hair is the way to go and it's good for your hair as well. So once we're all completely slicked back, I'm then gonna just take my pony, twist it loosely and wrap it round like so. Now, you don't want to twist it fully and you want to leave it so that it's completely flat. So then, you just wrap it round like so. You're then going to take your hairband and usually leave this bit out so that it then goes underneath like that. Pop it like that. Hide the hairband, pull it out a little bit, and then pretty much we're done. So that is my first hairstyle, my fave hairstyle. I love it. I feel like it would suit anyone. If you want to grip it, you can grip it, but I don't usually grip it. I don't need to. To finish off, I just like to take the thin side of my comb once again and just comb through to make sure that it's all completely slicked back into my bun. First hairstyle complete. So now you know how to do it, just don't twist your hair super tight. Okay, so my next hairstyle is one of my most favorite ways to jazz up a ponytail and it really suits my head shape. So my head is quite square. <laughs> it's weird to say, but because of my baby hairs, they kind of go across in a straight line, if you know what I mean. Um, and this hairstyle just really suits my head shape. So 
if you have a similar baby hair situation to me, then this one may be the one for you. Okay, so to start off, taking my little pink comb once again, then I'm going to part here. I'm going to take my comb back, like so, and stop at the crown of my head, pull it down, and then brush it down. Then, the other side, I'm going to do the exact same. Then, to the crown of my head, pull it down, brush it down, then just roughly take the chunk that you've just parted off. Then I'm just going to pull that down there whilst I tie back the rest of my hair for now so that nothing gets in the way. And we're just gonna brush this through just to make sure there's no tangles. So now you have a like almost like a stripe on the top of your head and what we're going to do is we're going to braid this so we're going to do one French plait going back. So if you don't know how to French plait here's the time to learn. What we're going to do is we're going to grab this just a little hairband or anything because we're going to take this out eventually and we're going to take front section of hair and we're going to divide it into three sections and we're going to cross it over then cross it over like the start of a normal plait. Then we're going to take the piece that we're about to cross over again and grab a little bit of hair on that side then cross it over. Then this piece that we're going to grab the hair with and take it over to the other side. And again, grab a little bit of hair and take it over to the other side. Now, once you get the hang of this, this is the most simple thing ever. When you get to the end as well, I can't stress enough that you need to pull tight so that you don't get this weird baggy plait ending basically. Then once you've reached the end all you're going to do is just carry on the plait into a normal plait until about halfway because we're going to stick it into the ponytail and then take the hairband out and then just pop it on the end for now. Doesn't matter how messy the plait is because we're taking it out anyway. The main focus is the French plait at the beginning. So now that we've got our French plait, I'm going to take out the pony and what we're going to do is just simply put it into a ponytail. Oh my god, it's so hot in here. I can't go. I'm going to take my comb once again, brush the flyaways back, basically to make it nice and slick. So once you've got your slick pony, Take your hairband or take two if you want it to stay in all day and I'm just going to put them around together because it's easier than doing them one by one. Tighten it and make sure it's all secure before we take out that plait. Then find the hairband, take it out, undo that bit of the plait. Does that aeroplane have to? Now, if you want it to be super slick again, then just take this step once again where you're just brushing up the hairs towards your elastic to make sure that it's nice and slick. And then if you want to put hairspray in, go ahead. This is one of my favorite hairsprays at the moment and my hair is molting. It's the Tresemme Firm Hold number no. three hairspray. It's the green one. One of my tricks is to get a toothbrush so I bought this really, really cheaply in Tesco <laughs> instead of these. So this is a backcombing brush or smoothing brush, whatever you want to call it. But I find this really big to get my baby hairs back. So get a toothbrush, a little kid's one, hairspray, hairspray the toothbrush, and then just get those little baby hairs 
and there we have it. So hairspray, toothbrush, spray, and grab those baby hairs. And then your flyaways are gone forever. So there we have it, hairstyle number two. I love this one. I feel like you can really dress it up or dress it down again, if you can even do that with a hairstyle. Um, but I wore this on a night out the other night. Go check out my Instagram and you'll be able to see it. And I don't know, I think it just looks really cute and sophisticated. So far all my hairstyles have been updos, so now I'm going to do one that will just spice up your down hair when you want the front of your face but the rest down. Now I don't usually like my hair down that much because it gets too hot and I've got too much of it and it just gets really annoying. So I'm going to do two versions of this hairstyle, a down do and an updo. So take the comb, trusty comb. We're gonna do a middle parting. This is just basically two Dutch braids back and then they're gonna be secured with two little elastics. Now I like to use these little ones because they're just easier. But for now I'm just gonna use two of these as I'm changing the hairstyle. So, I'm then going to go to the crown of my head and just part downwards to behind the ear and separate now just for the time being I'm just gonna quickly grab the hairband and just pop that there just so that it doesn't get all confused with the other bit then I'm just gonna do the same on the other side and this time I am then going to take the bit that I haven't parted and put it into a ponytail like I did previously with the other one. This is how we do it. It's slightly different to a French plait because you're plaiting underneath instead of over the top. Sounds confusing but it's really super simple. So, I'm going to take a small section of hair and divide it into three. Now you can make these Dutch plaits as big or as small as you want to depending on the size of hair that you take in each strand. So this time we're going underneath, so we're going under, under, pull, so that it's the same exact technique apart from the fact that you're taking the pieces of hair under. So you're then going to take a piece of hair from the parted line and go underneath and then a piece of hair from the non-parted line and underneath. And then continue once again. So a piece of hair from the parted line underneath and the non-parted line underneath. Now, make sure that these are pulled tightly because otherwise they will just come undone and loose and not look as cute. There's a dog barking and it's really annoying. So when we're getting to the end, make sure that you're pulling tight again, just so that we don't get any baggy business. Why do people feel the need to bang? Wood or whatever they're doing. Okay, so I'm now just gonna take one of those thin hair bands and pop it in the end, this time we're not plaiting halfway, we're just finishing the front, the Dutch plait and securing it with a hairband. Now we're going to get the other one and do the exact same. Now we must make sure that these two go the same angle backwards, so I'm just going to keep my eye on the other ones and making sure that I'm going in the same direction because the last thing we want is wonky Dutch plaits. Taking this one. Look at that baby hair though. Ooh. And there we have our first hairstyle of the two with these. So they're just two little Dutch pats, super cute. Just with hair down. Now, because my hair's greasy, 
it's not got any volume and it's super flat so usually they would be more like that with more volume depends what angle you do them see today i've done them quite low down so if i angled them more up here then they wouldn't look as sticky outy like they do so if this happens then just simply tie them at the back or pin them to your head like that and there we have it so the second idea you are going to continue your middle parting all the way down the back of your head then section it off and then for now just tie one with a hairband i find it so important to make sure that things are tied so that they can't get all muddled because that is the most annoying thing now i'm going to take another hairband and simply put it into a bunchy. Now you may be thinking, what is she doing? I just love this hairstyle and it's so cute. Just securing it like a good old bunchy, so. And then I'm just gonna do it on the other side before we do the next step, just to make sure that they're equal. Okay, so now, after you've got your two bunches, you're going to twirl them around and we're going to space bun them. So, I don't really care how messy these are because I think the messier the better. And I usually like to take a smaller hairband just because it's easier and they're smaller buns. Then the other side, you're just gonna do the same thing. Now, it's quite hard to get them equal in size and in messiness, but just gotta pull them out and try and work out what needs doing. So I just like to use bum pins just to make sure that they are secure and to make sure that they are the same kind of shape Obviously I don't want them exactly the same, but I just want them to look like sisters at least, not cousins. If you don't know, bum pins are the ones that are like this, Kirby grips are the ones that are like this. Now I prefer using these for buns, personally. Okay, and there we have it, our two space buns with the cute little braids. I just think these braids are such a nice touch to space buns. And I also think that space buns always look best pulled out. I think this hairstyle is perfect for festivals, perfect for those summer days out, anything. And your hair's off your face, is it not too tight, it's just comfy. Okay, so my last hairstyle is probably the most simple of them all. Now, I've brushed my hair so much in this video and it's now looking very greasy. So, what we're gonna do is just smooth out the tops of your hair. I'm just gonna brush through my hair because look at it. Gross. Okay. So now what we're gonna do is just simply push it back into a low pony. Now, I don't really like low ponies that much, but on the odd occasion, the inner prima ballerina comes out in me and I just want a slick low pony like I would usually do a ballet bum. So, we're just gonna take the hair back like so make it slick. So this is usually how I would do a ballet bum at college. I then make sure that I'm not doing it too tight so that it doesn't look like a swimming hat on my head. Oh. What I like to do is do this. I look like an idiot but I want to make sure that it's you know not looking vile. And then I just like to pull out some front bits. Pretty much have it. Okay, 
Okay, so they are my five hairstyles that are kind of my go-to easy hairstyles to follow along and hopefully get a grasp of yourself. So I really, really hope you enjoyed it. And I am now off to the gym in my fave hairstyle. That's why I have no makeup on, by the way, guys. I'm really sorry that I look a bit of a mess, but it is what it is. Make sure to click the subscribe button if you haven't already, as I've nearly hit 300 subscribers. It's literally insane. And also comment down below what your favourite hairstyle was and also tweet me or Instagram, message me or anything of your hairstyles that you have tried and if you have followed any along and what they look like. So that's it from me. Make sure to also give it a massive thumbs up and I hope to see you all in my next video. Bye everyone. Right, let's go to the gym before I actually die. Okay. Up, down, left, right, left, right, left. Watch me break it down. I'm the jungle girl. Watch the snake. Watch the bear. Step to the left, step to the Up, down, left, right, left, right, left. Watch me break it down. I'm the jungle girl. Okay, come on, V.